Hello everyone, I'm Grizzly. Shortly after Kurzgesagt's video about freebooting that follows the already known videos by Destin, Smarter Every Day, and some other videos including mine, you will find all the links in the doobly-doo, I guess it's now time for a fresh start, keeping in mind a couple of little things. Number 1. Freebooting damages creators of contents and without a working solution will slowly bring into a decline of creation of new contents. Until a real solution, we all must learn how to defend ourselves. Number two, it is mandatory that each and every one of us shall rise against freebooting. Sharing your favorite YouTuber's content with all your friends on all your social media is marvelous, given that you did it with the right sharing tools. Remember that sharing a video with all your friends on your diary or your Twitter stream, for example, using YouTube's share command, the buttons below the video, for instance, is the highly effective way to add your favorite YouTuber to rise. Whereas downloading a video from YouTube using a tube, keep video or anything like those, and then re-uploading on your diary, it's something ultimately wrong, which, despite your best intentions, won't give any benefit to the original creator. This is the current scorch. Download and re-upload it's not sharing, it's freebooting. There isn't a real video search tool on Facebook, so all of us must rely on our audience. And we all need to be active on this. If while you're scrolling your social feed should run into a video that you've already seen on YouTube, but maybe loaded on some random unknown viral videos fan page, your behavior is important. You have to react. Comment that video, signaling that it has been freebooted from YouTube, also giving a link to the original video. Moreover, it's important to contact the original author of the video via Facebook, Twitter or even email and inform him that his content has been theft. Give him the actual URL of the stolen video, only the author, indeed, might file a complaint to Facebook asking for its removal. In the last few months, personally, I gave these bad news to some YouTubers by email, and somehow I tried to see it positively as an opportunity to keep in touch with both Italian and foreign YouTubers. Sometimes I also met new YouTubers and discovered some really cool contents. Anyway, as I repeat, this is the only way to support creative work. So I invite all of you to share this message. Every tiny little cram may help building awareness of this problem. That's all and I'm Grizzly, so as always, thanks for strolling around, thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye!